When a potential client visits your website for the first time, many times they'll come to a listing page first. They'll take a look around, get some information about the listing. Once they click on the second property, it's going to ask them to register, force register. So they'll have to register and create an account. And then continue to listing photos. Then it'll ask them for some more information. This section is actually not required. They can just close out of here. So we'll just do that. Close out. You'll see that I'm logged in now up here. Now if I want to do a search, it'll automatically populate what's supposed to be in that area. So nothing can be put in here besides what that is. So if they decide they want to type in And if something doesn't show up, they can't just hit enter. That, that isn't going to go in there. So they have to choose from the menu of what's suggested. We can go to more options, but unfortunately, it wipes out the search criteria from the previous window, which is not very friendly. But now we can put in square feet. And we can also select other options here as well as you've configured on your back end. And then now we've got two options. We can either search to continue the search or we can save. It's not very intuitive, but if you hit save, the alert was successfully saved. So when you hit save, it actually sets up a listing alert for the client. That, and then the, it'll, it'll show that listing alert here. And it's automatically set to daily. They can come down here to this little magnifying glass to run that search whenever they want. So they could, they could save multiple searches and then just come in here and execute them whenever they want. And they can come in here to see their saved homes and they can also check their email settings whether they're subscribed to home alerts from their save searches and real estate information newsletters and such. Now that they're in here they can create a new search however they can't edit their existing alert that they've created. So they have to create a brand new alert and many times you'll see that they end up having more than one search result. Uh, so if they wanted to change that from daily to something else, they would need to put in their search criteria once again and then choose weekly or bi-weekly in here. Once again, we need to add in a city. This time the city is, is the last thing that they want. And let's see what happens. Let's see, let's go to, and we can also choose nearby cities. However, they're not able to distinguish uh, distance. So let's just pick a few of these. Update. Okay, now we're going to save that. Now we've got a new listing alert. We can come in here and delete this old one if we want to. Now this this is a good way to uh, protect against an invalid email address. So this is going to show that that email address is invalid and if they want to set up those listing alerts they're going to have to put in a valid email. Okay, so now it's been updated successfully, has the correct email address. If I want to conduct that search, I just click the magnifying glass and it shows me those homes that match that search criteria. I can switch to map view from here and I can see where those properties are and then see a list view below. See the legend, it shows me what these are called, which it doesn't seem to be legible. If I want to go back to my search functions, I just go up here and I click on, on my name. So anytime they want to see their listing alerts or their save searches, they click their name. And when the new lead registered, they automatically got an email uh, giving them their password 
or they can just go right to that email and just click login now and it will take them straight into their account.